What's up? It's Ben Neighbors from Make Money Coaching Sports. Now in today's video, I have a special guest. Her name is Christy Hilly, and Christy is world class at teaching basketball coaches and other coaches in other sports how to start local three on three leagues. In this video, she's going to teach you kind of the basics on how to get started. And the reason why I partnered up with Christy is because she is legit. She's been running three on three basketball leagues since 1997. She's run over 350 leagues since she started. And in 2019, she hit seven figures in sales, right? She knows what she's talking about. She knows this business inside and out. And over the next couple of videos on my channel, she'll be posting different tips, different ideas about how to get started, about how to grow your business. And if you want to take the next steps and learn from her directly, you can click on the link below in the description. That will take you to a webinar. A full disclaimer, if you purchase through the webinar, that helps support our channel here. And I only partner with people that are legit, right? I have a lot of people that reach out to me all of the time that ask to be on our YouTube channel. And when I talked with Christy, I knew from, from the very beginning, she knows her stuff. She is the real deal. She's already helped a lot of other trainers uh, in basketball start and grow their own three on three leagues. So sit back, watch this video. And again, if you want to learn more, go click on the description under the video to uh, take a deeper dive. That's it. And enjoy the video. And if you're thinking about starting something like this, for example, a three on three league in your sport, I think it's an excellent idea. And I can help you get started with this and really grow your three on three league. So my name is Christy Hilly and I run three on three basketball leagues. I also run three on three basketball tournaments. I'm not going to really um, talk about that right now because what we really focus on is our three on three leagues. And the reason for that is that may be surprising to some people that we're not just focusing on three on three basketball tournaments, but when you focus on the leagues, you're really throwing a lot broader net as far as who is going to participate in it. Okay, more people will participate in leagues over the tournaments, which I think maybe surprises some people. Um, the other thing is nobody else is really doing that. Nobody else is really offering three on three basketball leagues. And so we're able to really own that space here in Minnesota where we live. So I want to talk to you about how to go about um, getting your three on three business set up. Doesn't matter what sport you're in. Um, we do basketball, but this would work for other sports as well. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is establish a business. And if you don't already have some sort of business uh, set up for your sport that you're working in, then you're going to want to register your business, um, you know, name your business, first of all, and then register it with your state, maybe make an LLC. And you can just simply go to your uh, like Google your state and find out what business names are available. I would recommend that when you name your business, you name it something that when people see it on their credit card statement, they're going to know what it is and they're not going to be disputing a charge or something because they don't recognize the name on their, their statement. So choose a name that actually talks about what your business does. So we're Midwest three on three. You're also going to want to get a logo. And if you don't already have a logo created and that's not really something that you can do yourself, uh, I use Upwork. You can just find freelancers on Upwork that are really reasonable, they do great work. And in fact, I have a, a graphic design artist that I use and a bunch of my clients who are also running three on three basketball leagues have used. He does great work on logos. So if you're struggling to find someone to make a logo for your business, reach out to me because I can hook you up with him. He does great work. Um, also, you're going to want to get a business bank account. You don't want to start running your business and then using your personal account or your personal credit card. It gets really messy at tax time. So get your own business bank account, your own business uh, credit card. Okay, once you've set up your business, the next thing that you want to do is secure a facility for your league. Uh, since we run basketball leagues, we I guess we have the choice of being an indoor or an outdoor league, but I we live in Minnesota. I personally 
uh, don't really want to deal with weather issues and um, having delays or rescheduling and then having to refund people if the weather made it so we couldn't have our league. So we do all of our three and three basketball leagues indoors. Um, and all you have to do is contact a facility that you would like to use and find out what their procedure is for securing the facility. Most likely you're going to need liability insurance to rent a facility. Um, and if they don't require it, I would still recommend you're covered with liability insurance. I have a local agent here in Minnesota who covers all of our events. Uh, he's, he's, um, good at the sports, uh, liability insurance, but a lot of the people that I'm um, consulting, a lot of my clients, they are doing this online. They're setting up their liability insurance online. And I'm not endorsing either of these companies. I'm just sharing with you two companies that I know my clients have used. So one's called esportsinsurance.com. And then the other one is K and K insurance. So I know some of my, my uh, clients have used those two services to get their liability insurance set up. Now, when you are looking for dates for your facility, I'm gonna recommend that you're looking at dates that are at least three months out from now, or at least three months out from whenever you are ready to start promoting your league. Okay, you wanna have plenty of time to promote. And um, sometimes people like wanna try to run their league in four weeks or five weeks, and that's, it's not a good idea because people really need plenty of time to know about your event uh, and, and sign up for it before they have all kinds of other conflicts on their calendar because they're going to be signing up with other kids to be on a team and, and you want to give them plenty of time to be planning for this and they're not already signed up for a bunch of other things on that date. So three months out. I would also recommend you run your league for four weeks and I know this surprises people. Uh, I've, I've worked with people who want to run their league for six weeks or two months and that's just really too long what's going to happen is you're going to reduce the num number of teams that are going to register because they can't commit to an eight-week league so they won't even sign up to begin with or what's going to happen is teams are going to get bored with it or they're going to start playing the same team too many times and they're going to stop showing up and now you've got forfeits and it kind of gets to be a mess so what you'd rather do is do a four-week league do it really well have people be bummed out that it's over already and then they're going to sign up for your next league okay so instead of an eight-week league why don't you do two four-week leagues okay now you've got your facility set up, you've got your dates figured out. The third thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have a website and an online registration system. There's lots of tools out there, uh, sports management tools, you just Google it. I know there's league apps, there's sports engine. Again, I'm not gonna endorse any one um, product on this video. Um, if you don't have the skills or the time or the desire to make your own website for your three on three business, if you need to make some sort of a website for this, reach out to me. I can get you hooked up with a three on three basketball website template. It'll be ready for you in live in two days. And um, it's only going to be, it's, it's in Squarespace and it's going to cost you about $18 a month to maintain that website. So don't let that stop you from making progress. Okay, you can have that ready in two days if you want. After you have your website and your registration set up, now is the time to start promoting and marketing your league. You don't really want to start marketing it without a place to send traffic to. Okay, so you want to be able to market and say, hey, go to this website um, and then get your team signed up. So, so many different things you can do for marketing and promotion. And a question that I get a lot is, how many teams do I need? Now, obviously the more teams that you have, the better, right? But what do you absolutely have to have as you get started with your first league? And there's not really a magic number. I mean, if I had to pick a number, maybe I'd say you wanna get at least 25 teams, but really what matters is how many teams you're getting in each division. And by division, I mean teams that can play each other, okay? So we try to keep the same grade of players playing each other uh, we would not do something where you have sixth graders playing eighth graders or something like that occasionally they might play one grade up or down usually based on if the, the competition level is appropriate for that but 
what you want to make sure is that within a division, teams that are going to play each other, that they're not going to play each other too many times. And for us, that means two times max is what we would like. So if you're running a four-week league and you're having teams play two games per night or week, that means you have to have five teams in a division that can play each other, and then they won't have to play anybody three times. Okay, so that's really the minimum. When you start looking at your registrations, you need to have five teams within a division, and then you're good to go. Obviously, the more teams you have, the better, but that's like the bare minimum, okay? Now, what do you want to actually grow this to? Eventually, you'd love to see 70 teams in your league, and that might not happen right away because this is going to be new, and it's going to need some people to, um, to try it and experience it and then go out and tell other people all about it, and then it's going to really snowball and take off. So if you could get your league to 70 teams, that would be fantastic. The leagues that we run on average have 90 teams, and the largest league that we've ever run was 180 teams. It was amazing. Okay, so big tip for you is start with one league. Do it really, really well. Like just really wow your customers, put out a great product, a great experience, listen to the feedback, talk to people, talk to the, the players, talk to the parents, talk to your staff, find out things, ideas that they have about what would improve this, what would make this better, and just keep working to make your league better and better and better, and this is gonna grow naturally. That's exactly what happened to us. It just snowballed. I think our first league we ran, we had like 32, 34 teams. And within a couple of years, we had over 100 teams. People were coming from quite a distance away. And then what happened was people started to ask us to run three on three leagues in their community. And that's just really how it just grew for us like crazy. I would love to tell you a lot more information about how you can bring your own three on three league, whatever sport you're doing, whether it's for kids or adults, I'd love to help you do this. And I am offering a free training. So in the links or in, yeah, in the description below, there's gonna be a link to sign up for my free training. Uh, so go ahead and click that, save your seat. And I'm gonna tell you all about the seven steps that you're gonna wanna follow. We'll get into all the details of everything that you need to do to get your three-on-three -three league up and running. Okay, so I hope to see you there. Bye.